Hi, what's up? It's RGZ, your favorite simulation gamer. Today we're checking out the new Microsoft Flight Simulator VR. And as you can see, we're in Egypt, in the Pyramid of Sphinx. One of the greatest wonders in the world. And this is looking absolutely amazing. Even my graphics are not maximum at this point. They are only in medium and low and the, this is still looking phenomenal here in VR. Totally illegal to fly these close to these pyramids, but that's why we are in a simulator. We can do whatever we like and we don't get any fines. <laughs> so in this video I will cover up you for a few interesting locations in the world in VR. And I hope you enjoy. This is great. Look at this Sphinx and everything. At least these pyramids, they are looking absolutely fine. Really good, really good. God damn, you never get this this uh, kind of a position to see those pyramids. Did you guys know that there is some kind of a theory that they are actually not tombs. They are really uh, old power plants in an oldest century of Egypt. They might be even 2000 years older than they think. They're all being white and trying to collect sunlight as much as possible. And then there is a, some kind of a copper system inside those pyramids. And their mission, their job is to collect energy as much as possible. And then with that energy, they have light the city of Cairo here. That's a badass theory. I don't know if that's true or is that, but it, it sounds interesting, sounds logical. I have to admit that this is so so fantastic to fly in VR. It is so thrilling to be here. It is so thrilling to see the world in a VR and it's looking so good. Okay, let's start our journey here in Niseli Airport, which is the crash field. I made a video in X-Play 11 and this is that kind of an airport, which is absolutely fantastic for helicopters but let's see how it's look in in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator much more graphical edition this was looking absolutely fantastic in X-Plane 11 with a helicopter but we don't have helicopters yet here in Microsoft Flight Simulator so we have to have to go with the plane right now let's take the flaps off circle around here I think this airport is one of the beautiful, most beautiful airports there is. So we're here in Venice. Look at this. This is so great looking. It's so red. The area. I don't mean the airport. I mean the air, airport area here. Fantastic. And I, I was doing a circle, circle, circling around here in VR in x -Plane, so I will do the same here. In x -Plane, there was much more details. There were those boats and everything here in the pier. We only have one here right now. We do have those buildings. I got to admit that x -Plane now nailed this much more, much better at in my first impression. But of course we do have the whole world, world here looking the same in Microsoft Flight Simulator, but I have to admit that X-Plane's mod made this look even nicer. The proportions were even a bit better. That's the market where I landed the helicopter. Church. Lots of church, churches. Huh? Venice is looking great. Let's 
let's travel to, through this massive railroad station here. We can actually climb up. We can see the Alps right in front of us there. Beautiful. Okay, let's gain some altitude. Rising a bit high. Oh yeah. The world is looking fantastic. If your graphics card has a juice, you can increase more details by adding that image scaling, which works really nice. My computer don't have the juice to power it, but when you're flying this high, you would definitely need that. So you can see all the details. Mine are pretty porridge here, but it's still looking great. You definitely do need some juice. My clouds are low. I don't know if there should be medium, but let's go and travel through the skies to the next location. What do you guys think how good New York is looking 10 a.m. in the morning in December? Let's take a look. As I'm recording this in December 2020, they have just nailed great schedule on this game. They have just made an update which is adding the new weather effects and I don't mean that it's raining or sun shining or something, but it is adding the snow effects, snowing and chilling and ice. And now we can even land on the ice and it's slippery. So it seems that here in New York in December is a full summer like we have here in Finland as well. But if we go somewhere Alaska next, we can try to see if there's actually snowing and icy. I don't know. Interesting. Let's dive in the Statue of Liberty. I think the great thing here now in VR is that you can actually see freely how good every landmark are looking because when you're using controller, the camera is always don't point just like you want it, even if you lock the, lock the system. But now you can actually control the airplane and still watch points of interest like you like, like you like. Look at that, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Well, does this feel like you're actually in flying in the world? Maybe. It depends on your system. I have... My processor is i9-9900 Intel, so it's pretty capable of calculating a lot of data. But my graphics, con uh, graphics card is uh, GTX 1080 Ti, so it's kind of outdated on this heavy world simulation, so I'm actually playing this on very low graphics now so it, it will be running even somewhat smoothly and this is not looking so good in VR as it would look in real life, but yes, it feels very good and it is more authentic than in X-Plane or, or DCS or something. So it, it looks very, very good. But I would say I would definitely recommend you to have more capable graphics card like 3080 or 3090 to run this game smoothly on VR because VR is using a lot more energy than regular 2D gaming. The anti-aliasing is now off on me, but I should definitely add something so it would look smoother. But here in New York, it's definitely I would need more juice to my computer to make this look even more realistic. Now I have my frame rate is something about maybe maybe maximum 60 or maybe 40 or something. So that eats a bit of the impression here.
really good, really good looking stuff. I don't know how people who live in New York, what do they think about this city? Do you think this is awesome or do they hate this? They probably think that forest are, forests are exotic. <laughs> Here in Finland we only have forts, forests. Nice. Very, very, very nice. Holy hell, holy hell, we're here in uh, Alaska somewhere, it's a terrible blizzard, we're very high in the mountain, it is looking, as you can see, freaking thrilling, so let's go down, the game is running much smoother right now and I updated uh, the anti-aliasing a bit, it's, uh, not too much yet. I'm really just testing this, but if I would fly here in this kind of weather with this kind of a small plane, I would be freaking scared. <laughs> that it would be totally terrible. I don't know about this plane. Do we have a different setups for for any kind of lightings? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What is this? Increase co-pilot volume, reduce, start motor. Uh, I don't know, I don't want to touch anything. Let's open this. No, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, let's dive into that. Really good looking place. My mouse is always... Ah. Oh my, oh my. We would probably die if we go do this. Oh shit. Our plane is shaking right now. <laughs> What happened to this weather? Oh my, oh my, this would be terrible. The sounds and everything in the cockpit here. I don't know if you can hear them on the stream, but this is shaking and shivering. Is this ice? This is ice right now. Whoa. Whoa. Let's try to land here. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. I have no ass feeling about how how close the ground is. Oh, okay, okay, we're here, we're here. We're here in the ice. Look at this, look at this. This is so freaking terrifying. <laughs> and it's gliding, it's gliding, it's gliding. My brakes are on fully maximum. Oh, here we are, so it's raining. We're in the middle of Alaska, somewhere in the canyon and in the ice. Now this is something really, really terrifying. 